Hey, hello, I am Madison with LearnMMD.com. This week, we're going to be building upon the Feel the Sound dance that we created in Lesson 4. What we're going to do is add camera work, and I wanted to show you a way to cut between scenes and kind of a fun thing to do by displaying the background and hiding the stage. Can't wait to show you. Let's get started. First, I wanted to show you that the Miku Mika Dance user file includes a background folder, but when you download Miku Mika Dance, that folder has only a black bitmap picture. I've put some more pictures in mine, some different images that I could just use when I need to use something to put behind the model besides the stage. So there we go. Let me show you how to use them. Open Miko Mika Dance. I want to open the Feel the Sound Dance that we did in Lesson 4. And this will come to be right where we left off. There we go. There's Miku and the other models. We used center position bias to place the three models on stage each using the identical motion data. We have the background screen going, but what's missing is camera work. Before I push play I want to set the length from 0 to 2800 here. If I push play, there we go. definitely need camera work nothing more boring so i'm going to move the camera here i'm going to get far away from my first position so the audience kind of knows where we're at there we go i'm going to register that position i'm going to come out 100 frames push enter and move the camera let's move it kind of the other way closer like over here and register that spot then I'm going to move out. You know what? I'm going to move out just one frame to show you a trick. I'm going to go from frame 100 to frame 101. Now I'm going to cut and close just on Miku. Push enter, register. You can push the enter key on your keyboard or click register to get that red diamond registered position. So now I'm going to just let that move for another 100 frames. I've got to go to 200. Enter. Then we'll back out a little bit. Raise things up. Swing things around. That's my new position. I'm going to register that at frame 200. Now I'm just gonna click and watch it go. Turn up the music, let's get up on the floor. I like the way you shake it, come and give me more. Wasn't that nice? Did you see how smoothly the camera moved? And it cut to Miku? And we hardly noticed. It just changed the scene so nicely. You'll want to play that again. Back up and try it again. So now we're in frame 200. I'm going to move out a little bit further. Well, that's what the heck, 300. Push enter. Now we're going to do that same trick again, like making a scene cut, but we're going to do more. It's registered. I didn't register. Well, that's alright. We'll register that position in 300, then we'll go to 301. This is where the background image comes in because I'm going to turn off the stage. Right now, the stage display. I'm going to undisplay it and click register. I'm going to go to background. Load background picture file and pick one of these. Oh, yeah, that one there. Okay, now we have that. Now I'm going to go to camera, light, and pick Ren. I'm going to undisplay Ren by just clicking the display and register. I'm going to turn off Luca as well, Luca. Display, register. Now when I go to camera, we'll see that only Miku is left. So we need to register a position for this frame cut. I'm going to make it a little wacky, I guess. We'll slide her over there using the blue Z. We'll slide her down and come in a little close. Okay. That'll be my registered camera there. Now we'll shoot out 50 frames to 350. Enter. I'm going to try something. I'm going to go all the way around. I wonder if it'll do that. 
We'll slide her over. Pull her around a little bit further. For a close up and push register. Then in frame 351 we'll put everything back. We'll go to the model. We'll get Ren. Display, register. We'll go to the other model, Luca, display, register. Then we'll go to camera mode. And we'll turn the stage back on by clicking display and register. I don't know why the background image is still there. Oh, that's why, looking off the edge of the stage. Okay. So I haven't set a camera position for this spot yet. So let's go like that. There you go. That'll be where it comes back to life. At frame 351. Register. Then we'll go out to frame 450. Enter. Move the camera. Register. So now, if I play through. Let's play through frame 500. Here we go. Listen to that. Turn up the music. Let's get up on the floor. I like the way you shake it. Come and give me more. Girls and boys. Clap your hands and make some noise. Girls and boys. Clap your hands and make some noise. I won't let you stop tonight. Dance until the morning light. Cool. You see how that camera just clipped in there and I was able to get that special moment. Pretty wonderful. That's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and finish the rest of the camera work and then save your dance. Next time we'll be starting something all new and I'm looking forward to it myself. Thank you for being with me. Take care. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I need a thousand subscribers! Click the like button and I will see you next time. Bye bye.